with our radicals first. Okay, adding and subtracting radicals. Basically, you have to think of radicals as like terms. So the square root of 3 has the same value as the square root of 3, but it has a different value than the square root of 2. So these two have the same value, therefore we can add them together because they're like terms. So if you see this problem, 5 square root 3 plus 6 square root 3 minus 8 square root 2, you're going to add together the two like terms, which are the 5 root 3 and the 6 root 3, so that's just simply 11 square root 3. Now we can't subtract this 8 square root 2 because it is a different radical, and the square root of 2 has a different value than the square root of 3, so we would just bring that down, and that would be our solution. Okay, so adding, well, kind of like the like terms, okay? So let's look at this one. We have the square root of 8 minus 3 square root 2. Okay, it doesn't look like we can add those together, but we actually can, because the square root of 8 can be simplified. If you remember, the square root of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So we can take out a square a 2 and leave the square root of 2 under the radical. So that becomes, the square root of 8 becomes 2 square root 2. And so we can subtract from it 3 square root 2. So 2 square root 2 minus 3 square root 2 ends up being just a negative 1 square root 2. So we just write negative square root 2. So that would be our answer. So sometimes they're already simplified like the first one, but other times you have to actually simplify the radical first and then combine. So let's look at one more of those, this time with a cube root. So we have the cube root of 5 minus 2 cube root of 250. Wow, 250 is pretty big. Um, how do we want to break that down? Let's look at, uh, it's an even number, so let's do 2 times 125. Okay, 125 is a perfect cube. If you remember, it's 5 times 5 times 5, so there's a group of 3, so we can take out a 5, okay? So that's 5 coming out, but we already have a 2 here, so 5 times 2 is 10 cube root, and we have the 2 left, okay? So we have 5, our cube root of 5 minus 10 cube root of 2. Can we combine those? Because they're both cube roots. No, we can't combine those. This would also have to be the cube root of 5. So that would be the final answer. Square root, or cube root of 5 minus 10's cube root of 2. Okay.